Do you know Baldur Skate? Well, it doesn't matter because this video is going to be interesting in any case. In this video, I will showcase how you can do image recognition or OCR using Snowflake tools like Snowpark. And to make things more interesting, we are also going to use Snowflake Cortex because we are going to create a streamlit application where Snowflake is going to play Baldur's Gate. Baby, you give me ice and fire. Let's start Baldur's Gate. Yeah, let's see this game. Let's go to talk with this guy. Sina is your audience. How about it now? You're not interesting. But yeah, what are the options? That's awful what happened if the sound isn't this dumb. Let's try this. Let's take a picture and upload the picture into Snowflake. Uh, oh, way too much information. Nobody wants to read this. Yeah, if your values, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to here and provide me one solution. Do not give any options. Okay, instead gather information. That's much better. Okay, you do not look like a captain, you neither. You definitely not look like a captain, but let's discuss with you. Okay, no pissing and cheating. You're a pardon tender. Okay, I'll follow the rules. Uh, let's use Snowflake. So, da 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 da. Let's see what Snowflake says. Leave. Okay. Maybe I'll explain this. So, how does this actually work? You saw me using the Streamlit application, but there's a whole pipeline inside Snowflake what's actually processing the uh, image into text data. So, once I upload an image in using Streamlit application, it will format that image into a hex data and store the image into an image table. And there's a reason why I want to use hex data because I have used Snowpark to upload and extract data from image, uh, basically a Python function which uses uh, ECOCR library through Snowflake stage where I have the, all the necessary PyTorch models. Basically, it means that if I input an hex, hex data into this uh, UDF, it will output the necessary text data for me. And I mean all the text data. I'm not using any kind of bounding boxes inside Streamlit because I'm solely relying on the uh, next part to understand the actual text text so i will store all the text data into an image metadata and there's a reason why i'm doing that because i'm using snowflake cortex basically snowflake cortex complete where i have the large language models which takes the text data as an input and they provide me the necessary formatted answer, which I'm asking them. Uh, in this model, I'm using the Mistral. Uh, I could use LLM for my own model, but basically I have found out that Mistral is good enough for my use cases. So basically I just type in select Snowflake Cortex Complete. I select the necessary model. Mistral 7b in this case, I provide all the text data that the UDF, the UDF has taken from the image. And then I let Cortex to complete the whole sentence, which ultimately gives me the necessary text through Streamlit application and shows the actual extracted answer. 
Simple as that. Let's get back. Okay, what's over here? Nothing special. Okay, this must be interesting. Okay. Hmm. Please, honey, credit. Oh, you're in debt. You are going to force your daughter to your marriage. Because of why? Ah, uh, buckets of gold. Oh, I got an idea. So, these are the options, but let's do something different. It's so boring to be the good one always. So, let's change the uh, actual Cortex question from one solution to the worst solution. Let's see what Snowflake offers now. Let's take a picture. That. Oh, much better. If it means saving your family, then yes. Your daughter doesn't like you. But that was the worst option over here. What's over here? Oh, Captain Grizzly. One, one, two, what? You're hungover, too bright. This is going to be interesting. Okay. What services do you offer? What? Cast a fireball while he is still hungover? Okay. Let's attack. Okay. Help only. What? Do I have fireball? No. Uh, you moved over here. Let's use Carla. Blah, 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 blah. Not this, not that, not that, not that. Let's use the regular attack. That's always a good one. But. Oh, now I understand the 112. But let's use Snowflake again. When he interacted with Aunt, he gets home. He mentions to me, blah, 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 I killed you. This is not interesting. Let's use that dialogue. You were the. Uh, I actually killed you in the. Was it in Act 2? Okay, what are you explaining? Oh, you're pregnant? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see what Snowflake says in this case. Let's take a picture. Oh, embrace your inner chaos. That was interesting. But yeah, I think that I will call it a day, because this is a pretty costly way to play Baldur's Gate. But let's see what else we can play around with Snowflake Cortex. So thank you for watching the uh, episode and see you next time.